What's going on, boys and girls? What's up, world? Austin John plays here with how to get all the evolution-inducing held items in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Every single one of these items can be obtained in one or more ways. Almost every one, if not all of them, are obtained by spending BP at the battle tree. But that's boring and drawn out, so I'm going to show you a much better way. Some of the items can be held by multiple Pokemon, if held by wild Pokemon, but I'm going to be reviewing the easiest encounters. I'm going to refer to a method throughout this entire video that I nicknamed the Compound Frisk Method. For this, you'll need two Pokemon with two abilities to pull it off. In your first slot, you'll need a Pokemon with Compound Eyes, like Butterfree. Now your Compound Eyes Pokemon should be in the first slot of your party. Next, we need a Pokemon with the ability Frisk. This includes a lowland executor, Wigglytuff with its hidden ability, or much more attainable, Phantom. He's available at Memorial Hill, near the end of the second island, with a 30% encounter rate. Now for maximum efficiency, you want to teach it the TM for Thief. It's available after revisiting the Verdant Cavern with Tauros, the room where you got your Z-Crystal, just go up the right side. Now what this actually does, Compound Eyes increases the rate of wild Pokemon to hold items. The chance of finding a Pokemon in the wild holding an item increases from 50, 5, and 1% to 60, 20, and 5%. Now that Pokemon, you want it fainted. As the first Pokemon that you throw into battle, it will want to know Frisk. That will tell you what the wild Pokemon is holding, if it is holding an item. And you want it to know Thief to steal said item. Alternatively, you could always just catch that Pokemon. So when I say the compound frisk method in this video, that's what I'm going to be referring to. All of these items, excluding the last three, make a Pokemon evolve while holding the item by trading. Up first, the Deep Sea Scale and the Deep Sea Tooth. These are the items for Clam Pearl to evolve in a Huntail or Gorbis, and Deep Sea Scales can be found on wild Chinchus. Chinchus have a 1% encounter rate while fishing on Route 8 or the Akala Outskirts. It boosts to a 20% chance if the water is bubbling. He now has a 20% chance to hold the item with compound eyes. I recommend saving right before you cast into the bubbling water and soft resetting if you don't get the 1 out of 25 chance of getting a chinchu with the item. For the deep sea tooth, it can only be found on Sharkpedo at Pony Breaker Coast. He has a 1% encounter rate while fishing right next to the Ruins of Hope, all the way on the bottom right but a 10% for bubbling water and a 20% chance of holding the item. For a dragon scale, this is the item used for Seedra to evolve to Kingdra. It can be found on the Wild Dratini evolutionary line. He can be found at the Pony Gauntlet, Meadow, and the Vast Pony Canyon. He only has a 1% encounter rate. 10% if the water is bubbling and 20% chance of holding the item. This dubious disc and the upgrade. The upgrade is gifted to you in the same room as when you receive Porygon at the Aether House post Elite 4. But the dubious disc used to get Porygon Z is obtained post Elite 4 at the Aether Paradise. You need to rebattle Baba, he's just north of the elevator. Electrizer and Magmarizer. I'm grouping these together since they're obtained together in Sea Folk Village. Head to the Huntail ship in the southwest and speak to the man inside of the ship. He'll give you both of these items. If you need additional ones, Wild Magmars and Magbees hold the Magmarizer, and while the Elekids and Electabuzz hold the Electrizer. King's Rock. This is used to evolve Poliwhirl into Politoed, or Slowpoke into Slowking. You receive one post-game by returning to the trainer school and battling the principal. They're also found on Wild Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, Politoed, Slowbro, and Hariyama. Even though you only get one, you only need one, as you could catch a Wild Politoed. If you follow my strategy in my Weather SOS video, it'll be linked down below. The Metal Coat. The Metal Coat is used to evolve Onyx into Steelix and Scyther into Scizor. It's only found in the game on Wild Magnemites. But at the Trainer School, it has a 50% encounter rate. Use the Compound Frisk for a 20% chance of the Metal Coat hold. Prism Scale. The Prism Scale can only be found by fishing, and it's completely random. There is no way to really make sure you find this item. It's going to be random alongside pearl necklaces and other things like that. And of course, evolving Feebas is just never easy. The Protector. This is used to evolve Rhydon into Rhyperior. Can only be obtained after the Elite Four in Panola Town from Kaiwi's father after becoming the champion. That's the house with the Magmars in it. The Reaper Cloth. This causes Dusclops to evolve into Dusknar. 
It's obtained from a preschooler next to the Mimikyu inside of the Pokemon Center in Mali City after passing Nanu's grand trial. The Sachet and Whip Dream. These are also being grouped together as they are gifted to you together. In Kona Kona City in a restaurant, there will be a Team Skull Grunt or X Grunt. Speak to her after becoming champion. She'll give you both the items. This is used for Spritzy and Swirlix to evolve. The last three items listed here are going to be items that a Pokemon holds and levels up to evolve. First is the Oval Stone. The Oval Stone causes Happening to evolve into Chansey when leveled up during the day. This item can only be attained by doing an SOS battle on a baby Pokemon like Munchlax to call a Happening into battle. It then has a slim chance of holding the Oval Stone, use Thief to knock it out, and if you didn't get one, let the chain continue until you get one. Now, the good news is it's about a 60% chance of happening holding that oval stone with compound eyes, so it shouldn't take too long to do this. The Razor Fang. This is going to be very similar to the first item that I listed. Bruxish holds the item. On Route 13, 14, and 15, he has a 20% encounter rate. So save and soft reset till you get it. And last but not least, it's the Razor Claw. Even though the compound eyes frisk method would work, these items are exclusive to the Jangmo line, and he has at best a 5% encounter rate at the Vast Pony Canyon and outside areas. So instead of fleeing from battle, it's probably better to do an SOS chain. He has a 20% chance of holding the item, but if the SOS chain somehow calls upon a Como, he has a 60% chance of holding the item. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Some of the most difficult items to obtain in the game for evolutions for all the Pokemon in Sun and Moon. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And until next time, Austin John out. What's going on world? Austin John plays here. For the last couple episodes, we've been doing a whole bunch of mythical Pokemon giveaways, giving out a whole bunch of mythical Pokemon, the same ones that came out all of 2016. A lot of people didn't get their hands on them. And there's a lot of players just picking up Sun and Moon who don't have X and Y, Omega, Ruby, Alpha, Sapphire. Well, on December 18th, we did that giveaway and we had overwhelming response to do it again. So guess what? We're gonna do it again. That's right, we're gonna be doing a mythical Pokemon drawing for 30 winners this time. All the mythical Pokemon from 2016, the legendaries, the birds, the dogs, the land flying things, all of them. Leave a comment down below on which Pokemon you'd like to receive from a mythical Pokemon giveaway. Be sure to hit that like button down below. Let's see if we can get to a thousand likes. Till next time, Austin John out. Hey YouTubers, are you guys enjoying the videos? I'm really, really appreciating the support. Over here I have a couple of additional videos if you guys want to check them out. Maybe be helpful throughout your entire adventure, and I'll see you guys next time.